Hey, how was school today? Horrible. Some idiot in a mask walked into my history of feminism class wearing nothing but a jock strap and a t-shirt that said, shut up and make me a sandwich. Where are people's manners? Now shut up and make me a sandwich. Daddy. Well, I'm, I'm not hungry. I already ate, but you can bring me a beer. Hey, you're not going to believe this. The kid just got tickets to the Lakers Sixers game on Sunday. Woo! Oh, where'd you get that? Um, from these fraternity guys I know. And all I had to do was walk into some class wearing this T-shirt and no pants. trying to get a ticket to this game for months. I can't wait till Sunday. Now all I need is some snack money. Would anyone like to contribute to the United by Negro a hot dog fund? Put me down for $5 because a hot dog is a terrible thing to wear. <laughs> Slow down, Kevin. You can't go to that game. What? Uh, why not? We go to church on Sundays, or have you forgotten? Hey, Tina, I've been nine Sundays in a row. I mean, according to my Sabbath punch card, the 10th Sunday is free. <laughs> Everybody in this family goes to church every Sunday, and especially this Sunday because I'm running for president of the church board against Shirley Jenkins. Who? You know mom's friend who she can't stand? <laughs> the one with the dodgy eye? Oh, yeah. One eye is looking at you, and the other one is looking for you. So anyway, until the election a week from Sunday, this family is going to be under intense scrutiny, so you're going to church with the rest of us. Now, that's not fair. How, how come CJ doesn't have to go? He's going to Bible camp this weekend. He's going to make me a crucifix out of macaroni. Now, that's sacrilegious. Macaroni is for eating. Aunt Tina, come on now. Hey, help me out here, y'all. I mean, I, I can't be the only one that doesn't want to go to church. We're all going. Because if she wins that election, I get invited into the Reverend's poker game. Daddy, why you want to get in that game? Because they're decent, honest, good people. And I can take them for everything they've got. Hey, what about you, Eartha? I mean, come on, isn't there some million angry women march that you would rather go to? Hey, look, you can protest against me. I love going to church. You need to just open your mind, explore your spirituality. The only thing I would like to explore in church is that super hot girl. You know, the one with the long, silky black hair and the killer body to die for? And the huge boyfriend? Next to him, I look like you. Come on, man. Warren, you can help me out. Why did you just tell Antina you don't want to go to church? I've got to go. I'm the head usher, also known as the Lord's bouncer. I've got to protect the Bibles. There's gold along the edges. <laughs> Warren, nobody steals the Bibles. You're welcome. <laughs> Y'all scared. I'm going to go talk to Antina. <clears throat> Look, Aunt Tina, uh, the family just took a vote and they decided that I can go to the game instead of church. So, we respectfully vetoed your decision. Ah, uh -huh. well, the same people voted for you not to live here, and I vetoed that. So, see you in church. <laughs> It's kind of hard to tell with this blinding fever. I'm seeing double. Oh, baby, you burning up. Just like you will be in hell. <laughs> Did you really think I was stupid enough to fall for this trick? No. I thought you were smart enough to think that this trick was so stupid that nobody would be stupid enough to try it, so it must be real. Just get dressed so you'll be seeing double for real. Okay, wait a minute. I have a backup plan, which I think is a very fair compromise. If you let me go to the game, I hold this sign up the whole time. We leave in five minutes. Okay, wait, look, look, look. <laughs> Listen, as head of this household, it's my job to expose you to religion. Isn't it enough that you've already exposed me to saturated fats and generic shampoo? 
Look, Kevin, if you keep going to church one day soon, the spirit is going to find you. I pray for that every day, that you find deeper meaning and purpose to your life. Well, fine. But if you keep force-feeding people religion, it's going to leave a bad taste in their mouths. The bad taste in your mouth may be from that. It's not an oral thermometer. <laughs> Come on, Kevin. You're here. You might as well open up your heart to this. If you take one step towards God, he'll take two steps towards you. Why do I have to make the first move? He's God, for God's sake. Good morning, Mrs. Jenkins. How are you on this beautiful and holy day? Oh, I'm as blessed as any mother could be with a gifted daughter. She's singing a solo. Oh, well, I can hardly wait for this beautiful chapel to be filled with her heavenly voice. <laughs> Jump in and drown out. <laughs> Hi, uh, I'm Kevin Hart. You've probably seen me around before. No. Yeah, I, I haven't seen you either. I'm Angel Barnes. I used to sit over there with my boyfriend, Tyrone. Oh, you, you have a boyfriend? Actually, he broke up. Hallelujah! That's my thoughts exactly. Uh, so, why'd you guys break up? We just wanted different things. Like, he would rather watch sports on Sunday than go to church. Sports? When is praying to be done? <laughs> mean to be rude, but I'd like to focus on the service. Oh, no, sure. Me too. I mean, you know, that's why we're here. For the main event. The big guy. <laughs> welcome. Welcome, everybody. And a very special welcome. And thank you to the Jenkins family, who donated $50 to the Root Fund. Hallelujah. On behalf of the Cleveland family, I would like to donate to the Roof Fund also $50.25. Now, before we begin, our very own Escalade Jenkins will sing a song that she herself composed especially for our service. Escalade. That's my baby. No, not who's there, Jesus at the door. Well, no, not who's there, Jesus at the door. Well, no, not who's there, Jesus You better open up your heart and let it be. Well, well, Jesus, Jesus is my Lord. Jesus is my Lord. Jesus, I feel you. I feel you, Lord. Thank you. I feel you. Why couldn't Tyrone have gotten spirit like that? Hallelujah! <laughs> oh, I feel the Lord inside of me, too. He, he jumped out of the mountain into me. Oh, welcome, Lord. <laughs> That's this side, by the way. <laughs> Listen, um, my cousin's getting baptized tomorrow. Would you like to come? I would love to. Uh, I've never been to a baptism. I've been to a christening, you know, of my father's boat. You guys don't break a bottle of champagne over a kid's head, do you? <laughs> Is something wrong? So, you haven't been baptized? Yet. Uh, I haven't been baptized yet. And I had to learn how to swim first. Nothing more embarrassing than wearing floaties at your baptism. <laughs> uh, 
But I'm good to go now, you know. That's what Tyrone used to say. It was always, next Sunday, next Sunday, next Sunday. Oh, no, 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 wait, 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 wait. Uh, I, I was getting baptized tomorrow. Really? Yeah, right after your cousin. You know, I was going to use my two souls saved for the price of one coupon. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Well, then, I'll see you tomorrow in church. Hell yeah. Hallelujah. <laughs> Hallelujah. <laughs> so I'll see you tomorrow. Yes, this was all my influence. You know, my nephew hasn't always been like this. Oh, yeah, well, I would think not, you know, with his father being in jail and all. Well, yes, at first, my nephew and I didn't see eye to eye. <laughs> you know, he was lazy and wandering, a bad pupil. <laughs> oh. Hey, Aunt Tina. Oh, there he is. What did I tell you? My prayers were answered today, you know. So were mine. It's like I was touched by an angel. And if I pray hard enough, I get to touch that angel right back. <laughs> that was quite a display you put on there, boy. You know, you look like my sister when she found out my mother left her to wash and dryer. In fact, you know what? Antina, I want to get baptized tomorrow. Oh, what? You want to get baptized? Oh, this is wonderful. Tomorrow, not tomorrow. I have a date with my honey, Wanda. She only gets one conjugal visit a month every since she tried to escape. No, tomorrow is perfect. And we'll have a party after for the entire congregation. This election is mine. Praise the Lord. Blessed be G. Diddy. <laughs> Warren, are you still mad at me? Look, Warren, I'm sorry that you're going to miss your date with Wanda. Warren. I'm giving you the silent treatment. Damn it. <laughs> Listen, Warren, you can't be mad at me because of my religious conviction. I mean, you forgave Wanda. And she stole Earth's social security number. Well, she apologized with sex. Okay, fine. But just this once. <laughs> be gentle. Come on, Kevin. I guess I can't blame you if you feel that strongly about going through a baptism. I do. But I mean, come on, even if I didn't, what's the big deal? A splash hair, a prayer there, and it's over, right? Are you kidding? You're making a lifelong commitment to God. It's harder to get out than a should night contract. <laughs> so, were you baptized? Yeah, my mother made me do it when I was young. Oh, so you really didn't believe in what you were doing. You were just going through the motions, right? Hell no. She made damn sure I believe. Why? I mean, what, what happens if you get baptized and you don't believe? Just out of curiosity. That would be blasphemy. Oh, okay. I mean, I was afraid that maybe your flesh would sizzle in holy water. <laughs> you know, like... <laughs> that doesn't happen till you die. Good night. But Warren, are, are you sure about that? Because, frankly, it doesn't seem like it's that big of a sin. They have a special room in hell for blasphemers. Does it look like this one? Just like it, but in the hell version, we would be having sex. <laughs> Good night. Warren, just one more question, okay? Isn't it at all possible, I mean, hypothetically speaking, that hell is just a man-made notion to keep people from sinning? Why don't you just book yourself on flight 666 nonstop to hell and take some sunscreen, SBF a billion? <laughs> Warren, can we sleep with the lights on? Knock, knock, who's there? Satan at the door. Vote for Tina Cleveland because it just makes sense. You can keep that. Oh, wait, wait a minute. That's a nickel. Oh, I'm so excited. You're finally embracing the Lord. If only your dearly departed mother could be here to see this, she'd be so proud. Plus, it'd be another vote for me. Now, all those who are to be baptized on this glorious morning would please step forward. Or as the Lord says, everybody in the pool. God, it's me, Kevin. It's been a while. How you doing? Sir. Look, I'm not sure you actually exist. 
But if you do, can you please give me a sign? Hi. Ah. Man. <laughs> Amen. Um, before you go, I got you a little something to honor the occasion. It's a sign. A sign? Got it at the car wash, for your windshield. <sighs> Jesus is my airbag. <laughs> Well, thank you. Uh, that'll go perfectly with my Virgin Mary air freshener. <laughs> well, I'll see you later at your house. Good luck. Thank you for the sign. <laughs> Wait, or was that a test? Signs from God really have suction cups attached. <laughs> uh, excuse me. May I pick your brain for a minute? If I get baptized, I'll get this really hot girl. And my Aunt Tina will be happy. But if God exists, then I'm going to hell. What should I do? I'm just doing this because I have a crush on the minister. If anybody around here is going to hell, it, it's me. Kevin Hart. <clears throat> Kevin Hart, do you accept Jesus Christ is your Lord and personal Savior, your way, your light to eternal salvation. And do you vow to follow his word now and for all eternity in this life and the next? Can I get back to you on that? <laughs> oh, hold up. <laughs> well, what's the matter, son? I'm doing this for the wrong reason. I'm sorry. Hallelujah. That's your baby. What are we gonna do with all this food? No one touch anything. I'm putting all this in the freezer, and it's gonna stay there until Eartha gets married. <laughs> How are we gonna defrost cold cuts if hell is frozen over? Home. Look who it is, Mr. Prayer Hater. Uh, how's Antina doing? You know, I, I just wanted to give her some time to cool down. I'm home. Oh, good. She doesn't seem that mad. You don't know her very well, do you? Yeah, this is the calm before the whoop ass. <laughs> Warren, Eartha, could you give us a minute? Mm -hmm. I'll give you a minute and my belt. Uh, look, Antine, I just want to say I'm sorry for embarrassing you and uh, hurting your election. Me too. If I'd have gotten into that poker game, I'd own that church by now. Every one of these windows would be stained glass. <laughs> Kevin, when you said you were getting baptized for the wrong reason, I know what the real reason was. You do? Of course. You think I was born yesterday? Okay, look, Antine, it wasn't all about the girl, okay? Girl? I what girl? Um, God. <laughs> because we all know that God is a woman. <laughs> Am I right, Sister Tina? <laughs> Bless you. Wait, are you talking about that girl with the killer body you've been drooling over? More. Because if it is, you got good taste, but the only thing is she's really religious, so you're gonna have to pretend, ooh, never mind. <laughs> That's the reason you embarrass me in front of all of those people for some girl? I thought you did it to make me happy. Oh, no, that was part of it. I mean... But I didn't go through with it. So, in the end, I did the right thing. Well, yes, you were tempted by sin, but redeemed by your sense of ethics. Exactly. And I hope that gives you some solace while you're roasting in eternal hellfire. Oh, what? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, no, no. I'm not going to hell because I didn't go through with the baptism. Tell her, Warren. He's right. No. If you die before getting baptized, you automatically go to hell. Oh, that's right. My bad, dog. Warren, why didn't you tell me that last night? I would have just gone through with it. You know what? Let's go back to the church right now. Uh-uh, that's not how it works. You know, Kevin, I don't understand. Your mother was such a deeply religious person. What happened to you? What happened to me? Well, let's see. Uh, my mom died. Oh, that's right. My dad was sent to prison. After all that, it's kind of hard to believe that I had somebody watching over me. God works in mysterious ways. 
Now, I know that you've had a very difficult time, but what doesn't kill you will make you stronger. Then why can't he only bench press 45 pounds? <laughs> didn't she ask you to leave? If God didn't want me here, why'd he leave all these cold cuts? <laughs> Kevin, God is watching over you. I mean, with everything that's happened, you never lost hope. When you had nowhere to go, we were here for you. Do you think that happened just by accident? I guess not. I admire you, Kevin. You always believe that things are going to be okay, and that is faith in yourself and God, whatever. Hmm. I mean, I never really thought about it that way. Maybe I do believe in something. <laughs> but how do I know if I'm ready to get baptized? You've been celibate since I've known you. You're ready to be a priest. <laughs> Are you ready now, son? I'm ready. Hold on, wait. Now I'm ready. What? <laughs> you got a lot of sins, baby. I want to make sure this sticks. <laughs> Hey guys, listen up. Do you think I should grow a mustache? For your answer, mustache. No mustache. So you look in the mirror and that's the only thing you worry about. You're just mad because I can get rid of my mustache by going like this. Hey, listen, you guys, did I get any messages? I've been delivering the United States mail for 22 years. If you had any messages, don't you think I would have delivered them? Look, I'm sorry, Uncle Clarence. I've just been expecting a really important call the last couple of days. That reminds me, you got a message a couple of days ago. Oh, was it uh, my friend Blake from Malibu? Yeah, Blake. Uh, it was about your birthday plans for Friday. <laughs> for real? Uh, did he say yeah. where we were going? You know, because every uh, year he surprises me for my birthday. One year, he took me windsurfing in Hawaii. Another time, he took me hot air balloon in the Napa. <laughs> you sure you black? Oh, I'm sure he's black. I'm just not sure he's a man. Wait, maybe this will help. Nope, still not sure. Hey, I can laugh all you want, but Blake is my boy. He always comes through for me. Tell me what he said, Uncle C. Wait, I, you know what? Because, don't tell me. Uh, nah, I, I don't want to know, because it'll ruin a surprise. I can wait two days. <laughs> No, I can't. Tell me. I need to know. Are you sure? Because this is definitely a surprise. You know what? You're right. Don't tell me. No, I don't even want to know. I, I, I'm playing. I'm playing. Come on. Tell me. Where are we going? Nowhere. He canceled. Surprise! <laughs> <laughs> but did, did he say why he canceled? And tell him! Wait. No, no. Don't tell him. Yeah, yeah. Tell him. <laughs> yeah, tell me. And he better have a good reason for it. He's in rehab. What? He couldn't wait another two days? It's all about him, isn't it? <laughs> I can't believe this. I mean, my birthday's in two days, and now I don't have any plans. Well, maybe we can do something special for your birthday. Thanks, but no thanks. I'm really into doing super big things, Uncle C. No, this is big. I was thinking we would throw a huge parade in your honor. We'd march you down Independence Square so you could ring the Liberty Bell. <laughs> yeah, we could rent a time machine, and you can go sailing with Christopher Columbus. <laughs> you know what? Maybe you all should be in rehab because you're meanaholics. <laughs> What's wrong with Kevin? Oh, we're just making fun of him because he doesn't have any plans for his birthday on Friday. <laughs> and what's funny about that? I don't know. It's funny for you got here. <laughs> I can't believe you would do that to him. I'm ashamed of this family. You know, so am I. What's the matter with you people? <laughs> I completely forgot about Kevin's birthday, and it's his first one away from home. I tell you what, let's throw him a party. You know, give him the traditional Cleveland family birthday. Oh, I love our birthday parties. The traditional birthday hat, cake, I get to blow out all the candles, I get presents, I can't wait! <laughs> Warren, this party's for Kevin. Will there still be cake? Of course! Then I'm in. Yeah, me too. I have plans, but I'll cancel, and I'll help you cook dinner. Oh, you see, that's how you treat family. 
Nothing is more important. Okay, now. Kevin's birthday is on Friday, so let's do it Friday night. The hell we will! <laughs> Skillet and the boys are coming over here to play poker Friday night. Well, you're just gonna have to cancel it. Oh, no, 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 no. Skillet is bringing his cousin Gold Teeth Eddie. When he smiles, you can see all his cards. <laughs> the parties are always on our birthdays, and Kevin's will be no different. What, what? Oh, this is gonna be so much fun! Hey, hey, I have a great idea. Let's make it a surprise party so nobody mention anything to Kevin. Good idea. Now, he has to be here on Friday, so I'll tell him he has to babysit CJ. Mm -hmm, not you. Let me do it. You are notoriously bad at keeping secrets. Please, I'm a highly trained security specialist entrusted with the Shop-A-Lot alarm code. <laughs> what is it? Beyonce. <laughs> Damn it! <laughs> What you doing? Oh, I'm just trying to make some plans for my birthday. See, in this column here, these are all the amazing things that I can still do at the last minute. And in this column, these are all the people who are available to do them with me. <laughs> but the page is blank. I know. I got nothing. <laughs> Look at me, man. I'm all depressed. Well, you should be depressed. I mean, your father got put in jail. You lost all your money. I'm surprised you haven't offed yourself yet. <laughs> I, I was talking about having no plans, but, uh... Thanks for the pep talk, Warren. That's exactly why I was looking forward to my birthday. Something to take my mind off the rest of my life. Well, it's just as well. Can't make plans anyway. Why not? Because you got a babysit CJ. On my birthday? Oh, no, forget that. Can you do it for me? Um, I would, but I have to go to a friend's party. Which friend? I'm Kevin. You got a friend named Kevin? Yes, yes, I do. What's his last name? Not you. Kevin, not you. He's Japanese. What's going on here, Warren? You guys playing a surprise party for me, man? Are you Warren? Oh, yes! <laughs> Enough of the evil mind tricks. Ah! <laughs> I've never had a surprise party before. How many people are going to be at the big party for K's B Day? <laughs> Counting the six of us? Uh-huh. Six. <laughs> what? That's not a party. That's just a typical dinner at home. Wrong. You're forgetting about the surprise. <laughs> there is no surprise anymore, Warren. Oh, yeah, then you're right. <laughs> I mean, no, don't, don't get me wrong. You know, I love you guys, but we eat dinner together every night. Sometimes we eat twice a night. <laughs> you know what? I'm, I just want to do something amazing, you know? Something I'll never forget, that's all. Are you kidding? This is amazing. I mean, plus there's a whole bunch of surprises you don't even know about yet. Like what? My mom's cooking steaks, there's a puppet show, there's a birthday hat, what? there's a... Warren, you just ruined all the surprises. Damn it! <laughs> I suck at this. <laughs> all have done a terrific job. The house looks beautiful. Thank you, Mama. All right, I'm gonna call Kevin up in a sec. Is everybody ready? All ready. Mm -hmm. You know, I'm really pretty excited about this. We haven't had a surprise party since, uh, since Warren graduated from high school. Oh, <laughs> boy, was he surprised. Yeah. <laughs> I was more surprised that he graduated. <laughs> okay. T minus 30 seconds before we get the signal from upstairs. You know, what has happened to my life? Do you know where I was last year this time? I was in a hot tub in Hawaii with two gorgeous hula dancers. Ooh, were they wearing those sexy coconut bras? Actually, they were naked. <laughs> That's disappointing. Juan, Kevin, can y'all come and help us? The lights upstairs went out. Not now, I'm talking to Kevin. Warren, I think that was the signal. Ooh. We ran up, we ran up. <laughs> okay, look, my family went through a lot of trouble. They canceled plans, so do not disappoint them, all right? Fine, I'll just pretend to be happy. Let me see you act surprised. A surprise party for me? Oh, my God! Ah, yay! Ah. That was terrible, man. The key is to be surprised but believable. Watch and learn. Warren. <laughs> 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 That look just single-handedly set black people back 200 years. <laughs> Come on, man. Boy, 
Sure is dark up here. Surprise! So you mean the lights work? Oh, you guys are good. Did you see the look on Kevin's face? Yeah. It was kind of like the look I had on my face when you told me that he was moving in with us. Oh, I can't believe you guys went through all this trouble just for me. Honey, you don't know the half of it. Wait till you see all the surprises we have for you. Oh. CJ, give Kevin the family birthday hat. Oh. It's made of all the ribbons and bows of all of the birthday presents we've ever given him. <laughs> Go on, put it on. Uh, you, you kidding, right? I mean, even the Indian from the village people would think this was too gay. <laughs> You heard the woman put it on. <laughs> okay. Uh. Oh, I feel so pretty. <laughs> this is the best birthday ever. I mean, I'm so happy I can't stop smiling. I want to, but I can't. Look. <laughs> Come on, y'all. Let's go get the rest of Kevin's surprises. Oh, more surprises? You guys gonna kill me. <laughs> really, y'all the best, man. <laughs> and I'm not just saying that. <laughs> you can't fake the way that I feel. <laughs> Blake! <laughs> oh, my God! <laughs> <laughs> no, happy birthday, man. Nice hat. What are you doing here, man? I thought you was in rehab. Rehab? Rehab for quitters. <laughs> man, that was just a decoy. So I could surprise you. Come on, I got a limo waiting. A limo? Yeah. What? Where we going? Oh, to a helicopter, which we're going to take to New York for the opening of Tiger Woods' new Asian soul food restaurant. It's called the Black Tie. It's gonna be wall to wall celebrity. Oh, like right. you, my boy, right? <laughs> You're my best friend. Will I blow you off on your birthday? No. No, I wouldn't. Now let's bounce, Kay. Oh, oh, wait. Uh, I got a problem, man. My family's throwing me a party. I can't just up and leave, Blake. But dude, I got you Tiffany's gift. Two girls named Tiffany. <laughs> I'm gonna get my coat. Give me a minute. <laughs> Listen, you guys, um, I appreciate everything you've done for it me. It was but... our pleasure. All the work, all the expense, it was worth it for the joy of celebrating your birthday with you. And it was fun, but... Our <laughs> birthdays have always been very emotional for me. When I was 10 years old, I helped plan a party for my father. I prepared for days, just like we did for your party. <laughs> and then, right when it was supposed to start, my father got called away. He just up and left the party. Well, I'm sure he had a good reason. I cried for days. And it was at that moment that I swore when I had a family that nothing would split us up on our birthdays. Not work, not friends, nothing. So, happy birthday, baby, and don't you worry, because we'll never let you spend your birthday without us. <laughs> oh, Kevin, I'm sorry. I don't know why I'm telling you this story. I'm making you all sad on your birthday. You have no idea. <laughs>
I have a confession to make. Um, this, this party, which I really appreciate, it just reminds me of how depressing my birthdays. <laughs> how depressing my birthdays were growing up because I, I had no real family. But I thought your birthdays were always amazing. All those fancy events was just a mess. It was the, it was the hide the tears of a sad, lonely clown. <laughs> I need to go and, and be alone with my thoughts right now, because I'm breaking down. I don't... <laughs> Listen, Blake, I'm having a real problem. The problem is you're keeping our guests waiting. <laughs> oh! Wow! <laughs> Hello! How y'all doing? <laughs> These are the two actresses I met on the plane. Tiffany with a Y and Tiffany with an I. Oh, I'm Kevin. Also with an eye. Yeah, that's fake right there. <laughs> I've been telling them about the, uh, the movie I've been producing. What movie you produced? The one you're writing. <laughs> oh, the, the movie. Then why you say movie? <laughs> <laughs> so what's your problem? Uh, oh, uh, my, my problem. I'm trapped in there, man. Yeah, uh, I just don't think I'm gonna be able to do this. What's the matter? The writer's block? Yes, he's having problems with the ending. Because our hero is being a wuss. Here's an idea. Hey, how about our hero bravely tells his family he wants to be with his buddy and two beautiful leading ladies, one of whose special talents include contortionist. Hey, I'm a contortionist. I could play the part. You know what? You're right. Yeah, I can make this happen. In fact, I'm gonna go take care of her right now. And just so you know, um, I'm a classically trained actress, but I am willing to do tasteful nudity if the part requires it. Well, to be honest with you, it does. <laughs> I gotta admit, I was skeptical, but this pajama thing could catch on. How do I look? Like Hugh Hefner? <laughs> You feeling better? Uh, yeah. Listen, um, I want to talk to you guys about something. What's wrong? Well, even though this is the first birthday that we've shared together, it definitely won't be the last, oh, so... this isn't the first birthday you've spent with us. Uh, what yeah, do you mean? Yeah. Actually, I really and need... And now for the biggest birthday surprise, my gift. Roll the tape, one. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> Just on the tape, boy. <laughs> what is this? It's your fourth birthday. You were visiting, and we had a party for you. Oh, my God, where'd you get this? One of our old home movies. I just had it transferred to videotape for your birthday. Wow. Look at how cute you were. <laughs> I bet you can still wear those clothes, boy. Is that you? That was during my Rick James super freak period. Damn, I look freaky. Uh, is that Eartha? Yep, that's Eartha. Oh, Uncle Clarence. Who's that? Is that your brother? That's me. I used to be big for my age. Oh, my God, is that my... Your mother. God rest her soul. <laughs> Look how beautiful she is. This is, uh, this is seriously the best gift I've ever got. <laughs> oh. Thank you. Hey, Kevin, hurry up. There's a guy out there in a purple suit. He wants to buy the Tiffany's. Uh. <laughs> Who's that? Uh, oh, my gosh. Look who it is. It's my, my friend Blake, all the way from Malibu. What are you doing here? <laughs> I'm waiting for you, man. Come on, I want to get to the party before the movie stars leave. You haven't told them you're leaving, have you? <laughs> 
You trying to ditch us to go to some celebrity party after we canceled all our plans for you? Okay, listen, uh, I can explain. Blake surprised me and I Obviously, didn't... you're not familiar with the Cleveland family credo. Tell them, Warren. Keep your hands out your pants. <laughs> no. There's nothing more important than family. Except poker. So we going or what? You know what, Blake? Uh, why don't you go without me, man? I, th I think I'm gonna stay here. Oh, man, I came all the way from Malibu to hang, man. We always spend our birthdays together. Yeah, I know, but, uh, hey, look. On the other hand, you could, uh, you could join us for dinner? <laughs> yeah, I'm going to New York. I'll catch you next birthday, bud. Hey, hey, you sure about this? Yeah, thanks, man. <laughs> Yo, why don't you think about it for a minute? I'll wait in the limo, huh? <sighs> Bye, guys. All right, please. I'm proud of you, Kevin. Me too. You stay, I go. No, Warren, let Kevin go. What? Look, Blake's only here for tonight, but we're gonna be here for you forever, so go, have fun. We'll continue this tomorrow. But I thought you said birthdays were about being with family, ain't Yeah, you? and I still feel that way, but I also believe in giving nice gifts. So just think of this as another birthday present. From me, because I didn't get you anything. <laughs> uh, you know what? You, you guys are the best. Come here, Auntie. Ah. <laughs> I love you. Thank you. Love you. Oh, Kevin, huh? do me a favor. If you see Denzel at that party, Grab that cute little butt of his and tell him I said, mm, mm, mm. <laughs> Yeah, I'm not gonna do that. <laughs> the key is to be surprised but believable. Watch and learn. <laughs> that was terrible. The key to being surprised is being believable. Watch and learn. <laughs> Tina, what you doing? Paying the bills. Are you crazy? We don't pay bills, we pay notices. <laughs> if I don't see pink, they don't see green. From now on, we're paying our bills on time, like the Huxables. Look at this. You know, ever since your nephew moved in with us, every one of these bills are higher. I mean, look, look, look at this phone bill. Come on, it can't be all Kevin's fault. Steve-O! What's up, man? How's Hong Kong? <laughs> Kung Pao, baby. <laughs> no, I don't know what I just said either. Hey, man. <laughs> Listen, I was wondering if you could hook me up with a pair of tickets for the Lil' Kim concert in Philly. Oh, come on, man. You still not mad about that little embezzlement thing with my father, are you? You young. You got years to earn your life savings back. <laughs> now, now, your grandmother, that's different. What can I say? Hello? Hello? Oh, get off the phone and turn that TV off. We got a crisis. Daddy, I'm in the middle of a very complicated math problem. Well, I have a very complicated math problem, too. See, I had three kids in this house bleeding me dry. Now I got four. So, three plus one equals screwed. What your father is trying to say is remember to turn off the lights, keep your phone calls short, and Eartha, unplug this face steamer when you're done using it, princess. Uh, Aunt Tina, actually that's mine. It keeps my skin looking young. <laughs> it's working. You look 12. <laughs> now, of course, there is another way to save money that would be easier and fun, too. One of you could join the army. You can stop investing so much money in lottery tickets. You know, the army takes women now, too. <laughs> hey, Big W, what about you, son? Ah, you're 26 years old. Be all you can be and be up out of here. <laughs> I can't leave. If I left, who would protect the family? I'll take my chances with a home invasion. <laughs> They're in and out in an hour. You here 24 7. Uh uh, my baby's not going anywhere. Baby? Yes. Your baby has gray nose hair. Hey, you know what? Uncle Clarence is right. 
Maybe if we tighten up our belts around here a little bit, we can afford for me to live in a dorm on campus. <laughs> I could join the army. Mm. <laughs> now, nobody is going anywhere. We are a family, and family stays together no matter what. As long as we have each other, we don't need anything else. Mm. <laughs> I guess that last notice wasn't a bluff, huh? <laughs> Is this Bill? Hey, Bill, uh, I just saw your ad in the campus paper about the two little Kim tickets. Oh, no, I can't afford to buy them. But uh, I was wondering, why don't you just take me? <laughs> Hold on, I need more change for the phone. I'll be back in three minutes. Yeah, so when would be a good time for you to pick me up? Because, hello? Bill. City of brotherly love my ass. <laughs> You know, some guy from school just tried to jack me for 200 bucks for a Lil' Kim ticket. Can you believe that? <laughs> Can I borrow 200 bucks? You know, a buddy of mine asked me to work security for that concert. What? Oh. Warren, are you serious? That's great. If you work security, you can get me in. Slow down, Kevin. I told him I wasn't interested. Oh, wait, Warren. What, are you crazy? How can you say no to hanging out at a Lil' Kim concert? Hanging out? <laughs> Civilians. <laughs> There's a lot more to working security than just doing this, Kevin. I know, sometimes you probably got to do this. Damn straight, I do it all day long. <laughs> when the weekend comes, I just want to get away from the job. Look, Warren, this concert's going to be off the chain, all right? There's going to be hot girls everywhere, man. And they'll all be drawn to you, because you'll be in a position of power. That's his position right here. That's the one. I mean, come on now, standing like that? What woman could resist you? None. A blind woman, maybe, but... That's where your powerful smell comes in. Come on, Warren. This concert is important to me, man. I mean, my father's in jail. I don't have any money. I just want to take a four-hour vacation for my life. Come on, man, I ain't never asked you for nothing else. Other than for you to keep your legs crossed when you wear a bathrobe. <laughs> okay, Kevin, I'll take you. I love you, man. Oh, oh, oh be cool, be cool. <laughs> You'll be meeting a lot of security colleagues of mine, and I'm kind of their idol, so don't embarrass me. No problem. I got ah! it. That's where I left my badge. Who wants another piece of me? Oh, me. All right, all right, all right. Now, guess what song I got in my head? And the winner gets another piece. Let's just get the kid some pot roast. Why don't we just serve bacon, lettuce, and money sandwiches? So... What's everyone have planned for tonight? I'm writing a paper on the person I most admire, my mama. Oh, give him more meat. <laughs> what about you, Warren? What are you doing? Oh, wait until you hear this. It's incredible. <laughs> Tell him, Warren. Tell him what we're doing. I'm working. That's a fascinating story. <laughs> well, I myself love it. You're out of the house and making money? You just won yourself an extra piece of meat. <laughs> Now, Warren, you know I don't like you taking a bus home late at night. I'll pick you up at the shop a lot after work. A shop a lot? You're not working at the shop a lot? <laughs> it's a top secret location. Highly classified. I had to swallow the piece of paper they wrote the address on. Then you must be full. <laughs> Warren, you are lying through your teeth. No, I'm not. Don't try to fool me. You know I got the gift. What kind of gift? The gift that tells me when somebody's lying. It's a blessing and a curse. Like my ability to attract men. I guess the gift don't work when she lying to herself. <laughs> hey, what's the big secret? Warren's taking me to go see Lil' Kim. Oh, is that your little girlfriend, Lil' Kim? <laughs> I guess everything in your world is tiny, ain't it, son? <laughs> Where are you taking it to, a flea circus? <laughs> Daddy, Lil' Kim is a rapper. An oversexed Jezebel whose only real talent is shaking what the plastic surgeon gave her. Yeah, the old L.A. Fagan shake. <laughs> you better slow down. You two are not going to any rap concert. Well, why not? What's the big deal? Rap concerts are dangerous. People get shot at them all the time. It's mostly just a performance. <laughs> this isn't Malibu, Kevin, where it's all rainbows and lollipops. This is Philadelphia. Mm. There are drugs. There are guns. Especially where they have those rap concerts. And besides, it's in one of the worst neighborhoods in the city. 
Wait a minute. You, you mean to tell me this neighborhood is worse than this one? This is a good neighborhood, Kevin. Oh, yeah, when they rob you here, they leave you a couple of bucks so you can get home. <laughs> Juan! I want you to promise me that you will not go to that rap concert tonight. <laughs> there ain't no way. Okay, mama. What? Are you kidding? Good boy. Lance, pass me some more of that pot roast. What song am I thinking of? Give it to me. <laughs> By Rick James. <laughs> I believe we have a winner here. Warren, what the hell was that up there, man? Why you let your mom boss you around like that? I don't mind. It's no big deal. It is a big deal, Warren. Okay, this concert is the first thing that I actually look forward to since I moved here. So we going. You heard my mom. We can. You know what, Warren? Some people, okay, not me, but other people, would say that you, uh, that you being a mama's boy. Uh, who, who, who would say that? The, uh, the security guards who idolize you? Yeah. What you gonna say, Warren? I, I can't go to work tonight because my mama won't let me, and I do everything that my mama says because I'm a mama's boy. I'm not a mama's boy. Would a mama's boy have a tattoo? It says mama's boy. <laughs> Damn straight. My mama picked it out. Okay. Listen, Warren, it's great that you... Warren. Warren, come on. Listen, it's real good that you respect your mom and all, but, I mean, isn't there some kind of limit? No, Kevin. I owe my mother everything. She saved my life. What'd she do? Push you out the way of an ice cream truck? <laughs> no, she gave me a kidney, Kevin. What? When I was little, I was very sick. I needed a kidney. My mother gave me one of hers. Without that, I'd be dead. Wow. And the sad part about the whole situation is because of my medical condition, I never reached my full adult size. <laughs> Again, wow. <laughs> I mean, listen, Warren, that's amazing, all right? But just because your mother saved your life, that don't mean that she can ruin yours by not letting you live it. So we going to the concert, man. Go tell your mom. Forget it, Kevin. Just drop it. I'm not going. Oh, you going? Yeah, yeah if I got to drag you out here kicking and screaming, you going. <laughs> you talking to, boy? You going to go. Hey, that feels good. Can you stretch out my calves? <laughs> hey, Auntie. Uh, you mind if I have a word with you? Of course, Kevin. I'm a little concerned about Warren. Actually, you know what? I'm, I'm very concerned. What about? Warren is like that classic 68 Maserati my father kept locked up in the garage. Oh, it was safe, but it never got driven. And like that car, Warren needs to explore the open road. Straightaways, hairpin turns, rap concerts. <laughs> so, hey, Tina, please, let off the emergency brake and let Warren experience this wondrous thing that we call life. Are you on drugs? <laughs> My point is, is that don't you think you're being a little overprotective here? Look, I've been protecting this family for 26 years. You've lived here for five minutes, so don't tell me how to raise my children. Warren is not going to that concert, and neither are you. I hear your point, and I respect it. Good. And as a sign of my respect, I'm going to get you a T-shirt from the concert tonight. <laughs> what? Well, I'm going. I mean, I'm going to find a ticket somehow. You might be able to control Warren, but you can't control me. I'm a man. I'm 18 and a half. <laughs> I don't care how old you are. You live in my house, you live by my rules. Don't wait up, okay? <laughs> Kevin, if you walk out that door, there'll be hell to pay. Send me the bill in the mail. <laughs> Boy, I'll ground you for a month. Sounds fair. I love you. Bye. I can't believe that you would disrespect me like this after everything I've done for you. And Tina, listen. I really, really appreciate you guys taking me in, okay? But this here, this is something completely different. No, not that. The other thing. What other thing? You mean your father never told you? You better sit down. What is it, Antina? When you were young, too young to remember, you were sick. Very, very sick. <laughs> and, well, out of my love for you and my late sister, 
I gave you one of my kidneys. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> you, you saved my life? Bless you. Aunt Tina, bless you. That's what family does. So you don't want to go to that dangerous concert and upset your Aunt Tina, the woman who kept you alive, now do you? Of course not. Good boy. But what I am going to do, I'm going to call Temple Medical School and tell them we got a miracle woman living in Philly without any kidneys. What are you talking about? Well, if you gave me a kidney and you gave Warren a kidney, according to kidney math, you out. <laughs> Oh, yeah, well, uh, 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 that just shows how much you know about the female anatomy. The female anatomy? And many Tina, you lied to me and you lied to Warren. Lied to me about what? She never gave you no kidney. Is that true, Mama? Yes, Warren, it is. Oh, my gosh. Mm -hmm. How long do I have to live? <laughs> So, I was never sick and I never needed a kidney? Oh, Mama, right now I'm so mad at you, I can just... Go to a rap concert. That's a good idea. I'm going with you. <laughs> how can my own mother turn out to be a liar? Oh, uh, oh, boy, how dare you call your mama a liar? This woman gave you a kidney. She gave you the gift of life. Wasn't for her, oh, you wouldn't be standing there talking about... Oh, he knows the truth about the kidney, Clarence. Oh, that one's over, huh? <laughs> well, 15 years is a damn good run for a cock and bull stuff. <laughs> About. It's about how your mom lied to Warren about giving him a kidney, and right now he's so mad that he's going to the Little Kim rap concert. You got that right. Warren, there was a good reason I told you what I did. There is? Hey, hey, you angry, remember? Come on, power position. Right, 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 you right. Know? Go on, I'd like to hear this one. <laughs> well, you see, Warren, when you were about CJ's age, you started hanging out with the wrong crowd. You know, boys like that Derek Mosley and the like. I remember Derek Mosley. Hard to forget a 12-year-old with an El Dorado. Well, anyway, I was scared to death that you were going to get into trouble, so I made up the kidney story. See? And you know what happened to those other boys, right? Doesn't Derek Mosley own Mosley Auto Square? Doesn't you have something else to do? <laughs> I'll tell you how they turned out. Most of those boys are on drugs or in prison. So, you see, even though I didn't give you a kidney, I did save your life. I guess, Mom. <laughs> so... Everybody happy? Huh, hold on. Okay, I'm Clarence, hold up. Everybody's happy right now except for Warren. Right now, Warren's rap concert going mad. I am pretty steamed. Mm -hmm. You know, come on, Warren, let's go. Where do you two think you're going? Warren's going to the rap concert. Ain't that right, Warren? Yeah. Oh, no, you're not. Oh, yes, you are. Come on, let's go. Yeah, there you go. Warren, don't go. Oh, Warren, if anything happened to you at that concert, I couldn't live with myself. Warren, listen to your mother. I don't want nobody getting shot. My postal insurance only covers gunshot wounds that happen at the post office. I'm sorry, Mama, but you've manipulated me long enough, and I'm not going to stand for it. I'm sorry I'll never manipulate you again. But if you walk out that door, I swear it'll kill me. Is that what you want? We can get you a new tattoo, Mama Killer. What's it going to be, Warren? Huh? M -m -m Mama's boy or Mama's man? I'm going. Good night. That's my boy. Men go first. <laughs> I didn't think the boy had it in him. Had what in him? The devil. Ow! Ow, devil! Ow, devil! You, you. Smoking, man. Easy, Kevin. The concert hasn't even started. Don't make me handcuff you to a urinal. <laughs> hey, man, I ain't seen as many hot girls since I was at Josh Goodstein's by Mitch Fat Playboy Mansion. Oh, he totally became a man that night, too. <laughs> Honestly, man, I'm proud of you. You stood up for yourself back there. Come on, how's it feel? It's hard to believe, but I think I'm even cooler than I was before. <laughs> <laughs> hey, look at all these little Kim lookalikes. Look, they're going Asian little Kim right there. I bet her last name is probably Kim. <laughs> oh, come on, don't check your pager. Do not check your pager, Warren. It's from home. I better call. No, no way. What if it's important, Kevin? Come on, man, don't you see what your mother's trying to do here? 
She's trying to control your mind, Warren. And you're too strong to be mind controlled, aren't you? Warren, look at my eyes. I said, you're too strong to be mind controlled, aren't you, Warren? Yes, I am. All right. Turn that page off, man. <laughs> oh. 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 Uh, it's from the house. I better answer no, it. No, no, no. Okay? If you answer this phone, we might as well go buy you some diapers and, and put some baby powder on your butt. Because that's exactly what you'll be. A big baby. Big baby war. <laughs> <laughs> you, you better get there. <laughs> Hello? Okay. I'll be, I'll be right there. I knew it. Mama wants Warren home. Warren comes running. She Ooh. had a heart attack. And you just standing here? Let's go. <laughs> Mrs. Cleveland, good news. Your test came back normal. You didn't have a heart attack. You had an anxiety attack. Uh, are you sure? It felt like my chest was caving in. I couldn't breathe. The symptoms are very similar, but you're in perfect health. You mean I carried her to the car for nothing? <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Thanks, doctor. I was terrified, Clance. I thought it was the end. Oh, I know, baby. Listen, don't ever put me through a scare like that again. I don't know what I'd do without you, Tina. Oh, thank you, honey. Mm. I'll probably have to find me a new wife. A young one this time. Maybe an aerobics instructor. <laughs> yeah, one minute with her and you'd be the one with the heart attack. <laughs> but I would die with a smile on my face you couldn't remove with a chisel. <laughs> oh, Tina, you still alive. Thank God. Please. I'm sorry, Mom, for going against you and giving you a heart attack. It'll never happen again. It won't. I promise, Mama. Look, look you didn't give it no heart attack, boy. Well, that's you? right. I gave it to myself. It was God's way of punishing me, punishing me for going to such evil lengths to keep my baby safe. Don't you say that, Mama. It wasn't your fault. It was Kevin's fault, Mama. <laughs> he put evil thoughts in my head. He made me do things, Mama. He made me look into his eyes. Look, okay, maybe, maybe this is all my fault, all right? But you guys got to understand, I'm not used to somebody telling me what I can and cannot do. I mean, growing up in Malibu, my dad's one rule was, don't get caught. No. No, it was my fault, Kevin. I care too much. Maybe more than my little old heart can stand. All right, well, Aunt Tina, don't even worry about your heart anymore, okay? Because you were right. I mean, it's your house, it's your rules, and from now on, I'll toe the line. That would be nice, because I don't like being manipulative. It goes against my nature. I love you, Mama. And now mm -hmm. that you're frail, I'll do anything you ask. Just anything. Just, just name it, Mama. Whatever he does, Auntie, I'll do twice as much. I'll do the cooking. I'll do the cooking and the cleaning. I'll do the cooking, the cleaning, and I rub moisturizer on your feet, just like you like. Okay, I'm out. <laughs> well, if it's not too much trouble, I, I, I am hungry. Could you run downstairs and get me a bacon cheeseburger? You got it, Mama. Oh, Atina, what about your heart? What are you, a doctor all of a sudden? Just do it. <laughs> Hey, and bring me some of them curly fries. We catch them. I'm going to milk this one for a long time. <laughs> you are one evil, evil woman. And it's turning me on. <laughs> oh, Clarence, not here. Oh, how about here? <laughs> <laughs> well, it is more privacy than we have at home. And, uh, we are paying for this room. I'd like to get something out of it beside them jellos I got in my pocket. Love you too, Netta.